First tonight, the desire for some not so precious metals leads to some pretty pathetic crimes. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Brandy Peterson. Victory Boxing Club just bought a new van for their road trips to tournaments across the country. Someone decided to cross the club's fence to take away the catalytic converter. A few dollars for them, several hundred dollars in repairs for Victory. Okay, TV News Watch Evans Adrian Witsit joins us live at 30th and R. And just on the other side of Victory Boxing Club, near their alley that's fenced in, someone decided that they needed the metal that's underneath that van more than the kids who use the club do. And we know this is not the first time Victory has been a victim. Every jab, combo, and cross. There no sorry in boxing. A step in the right direction for kids training inside Victory Boxing Club. Relax. When you're not throwing, you gotta breathe. Just outside these walls, someone else decided to head the wrong way. He'll come down here into the kind of wooded gate area. Monday morning at 6:30, someone jumped the fence, crawled underneath Victory's three-month-old van, and three minutes later, there it is. It's a big catalytic converter. I fired it up, and that's when I knew someone had gotten us. A petty theft for some, a $600 blow for the nonprofit. The person needs help, obviously. One, they have a problem with stealing, and two, they most likely have a drug addiction problem. I mean, that's just the black and white of it. So we'll pray for them. We're here to keep the kids from making those bad choices, you know. When you get on dope, you, don't, you do things that you normally wouldn't do had you not been on dope. So that's just a, a lesson to learn for all of them. Omaha police say they try to track stolen metal, but when it's air conditioners or catalytic converters, the regular stuff like the junk off my backyard or something like that is difficult, but um, I send out emails several times a week to the yards. The club will move forward, planning to have the van fixed and on the road come Monday. God's footprints all over this place, so we'll, we'll uh, adapt and overcome. And Victory already had a fundraiser car wash planned for this Saturday so they can go to the amateur ringside world tournament. Now they hope to add an additional $600 to that fundraiser. And we want to give you another look at the person who crossed their fence caught on the surveillance here at Victory. He looks like he is wearing jeans and a black hooded sweatshirt as well as tennis shoes. If you know or saw anything from 6.30 Monday morning, call police. Reporting live at 30th and R, Adrian Whitsett, KETV, Newswatch 7.